It's a great starting pitching matchup today. Couple of aces. Left-hander Cole Reagans is on the mound for the Royals. He's got a 432 ERA, but his 199 FIP is best in baseball. Sixth start of the year for the lefty Reagans, who struck out 33 and walked seven in 25 innings. And on the mound for the Blue Jays, their ace, who's been arguably the best pitcher in baseball to this point, right-hander Jose Barrios. He makes his sixth start of the season and enters with an ERA below one. He's also thrown 21 and two-thirds consecutive scoreless innings. It's George Springer to lead off against Reagan. Changeup. So Springer saw everything in that at-bat. And Reagan's begins with a strikeout. And up comes Vladimir Guerrero. Chop toward third. Garcia gets Guerrero by a step. Two down for Bo Bichette. Oh yeah. Hall, third strike <laughs> on a pitch that looked down. So uh, Reagans has a one, two, three, two strikeout first inning. I don't even know how Bichette saw that. Leadoff man is Michael Garcia. And a swing and a miss. Good slurve away, and he puts him away on three pitches. Now, Barrios has got such great command of his fastball. He got that called strike inside with the heater, and that sets up this wild swing with the slider. Bobby Witt Jr. in the air to center field. Dalton Varsho there, two down. Vinny, he's the DH today. So Pasquantino becomes the first base runner. He'll be in first for Salvador Perez. Bobby, oh, baby. Deep left field. He's done it again. 25 RBIs. And by the way, this is game number 26. Man, oh man. He has been raking this entire series and this entire season. And it's two to nothing, Kansas City. That'll snap Barrios's scoreless streak. He came into the game not having allowed a run in the last 21 and two thirds innings. In the air to right, not deep. Charging in is Springer. He dives and he caught it. A sensational diving catch by George Springer. Absolutely impressive. He was full speed when he left his feet. Well, Reagan's had a 1 2 3 first inning. Justin Turner, who is the DH, lined to left field and sinking, and Frazier makes a sliding play. His first start in left this year. He had three last year as all, well, but that was a tester. The wind's crosswind is blowing towards the left field foul pole. So he wasn't sure exactly how to judge that ball, but he did it perfectly. Cole Reagan's. Who's back on the mound for the top of the third inning? Isaiah Kiner Falefa digs in, right handed hitter. Knee high called strike three. Fastball over the inner edge. That was nasty. Third strikeout for Reagans. So now George Springer. And he hits a ground ball right at Bobby Witt Jr. and quickly two down. Brings up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The one two pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Reagans got him with a changeup. Two more strikeouts in another scoreless inning. Four total Ks for Reagans in three scoreless so far on a rainy afternoon. First pitch from Cole Reagans to Bo Bichette is ripped towards shortstop. One hop stop from Witt chest high. He gathers, throws to first in time to get Bichette one away. Justin Turner lost a hit on a sliding play in left field by Adam Frazier. Turner lifts one to left center field. He's hit it well and it's going to get down and skip up against the fence. Justin Turner into second with a double. Just the second hit of the game for the Blue Jays. With one out, here's Davis Schneider, who worked Reagans for a walk back in the second. Went with a changeup, and he walked Schneider for the second time today. Yeah, Davis has done a good job of not chasing hits. If he doesn't get anything good to hit, he'll take a walk. He's got a couple walks now that gives him five on the season. And Matt Quatrero, the manager of the Royals, just came out on the field to speak with Ryan Addison and Obviously, he's got some concern about the conditions for his pitcher. And now Addison and just the home plate umpire is going to the mound to check in with Reagans. Yeah, and he'll ask the pitcher, how do you feel? You feel confident on this mound? And obviously, he said, yeah, I'm OK. But remember, in Toronto, he slipped three times in a row and threw three consecutive wild pitches in a game. So. You know, you don't want the pitcher to have that in the back of his mind. Here's Ernie Clement. Got a shot here, two on with a one out. And again, Reagans goes back to the back of the mound to clean off his cleats. And this is looped into right center. It's a base hit. Turner around third. He'll come in to score. On his way to third is Schneider. And it's an RBI single for Clement. Got to tip your hat to Clement on that one. Just to get in and out. It was middle. Okay, it was in the middle of the plate, but he's able to control his barrel and just 
lay it out there. So runners on the corners with one out. And now it's the Blue Jays' lone left-handed hitter. Very shallow right field. And it's going to be Massey making the catch. Schneider was halfway, so that's a big out. Keeping the runner at third base. Alejandro Kirk flight out to center field in the second. Kirk pops it up down the right field line. Salvi waves for it. Angles back into foul ground. Makes a two-hand catch. And that ends the inning. Staring into the rain. Salvador Perez secures the final out. And Cole Reagans strands a pair in scoring position. The Blue Jays do get one run on two hits. No errors. Royals two. Blue Jays one. Rain continues to fall. We begin the top of the fifth inning. Royals lead the Blue Jays two to one. And we are three outs from this being an official game. There's a swing and a ball well hit. Deep left center. On the run is Kyle Isbell. He's back and he makes a catch on the warning track. How did he catch that? Going into a slide on the warning track on the most miserable day of the year. And he robs Kiner Falefa of extra bases. That was incredible. Over the shoulder, backhand grab, half dive, half barrel roll. But Kyle Isbell is an incredible defender. Stay with it. Three Royals are there. And why not Isbell? So two quick outs in this inning for Cole Reagans. And he's doing everything he can to get this third out. And at the same time, he is racing the rain right now to put an end to the top of the fifth inning before it becomes unbearable and the umpires might have to put the tarp on the field or at least call for the tarp so he didn't want that there Reagan's trying to somehow find one more out without a run scoring as he'll get Bo Bichette Melendez makes the play in foul territory that is a huge huge out so here we go bottom five Freddie for me Backhanded by Clement and across to Guerrero to get Fermin one down. So now they've asked for a towel to wipe off the base at first because it's probably pretty slick. And you certainly don't want a player stepping on that base and slipping. This one to center, racing back. Varsho can't get to it. Isbell is around second. And is into third with a one out triple. Blue Jays bring the infield in now for Michael Garcia, especially Vladdy. Vladdy is a good 10 feet in on the grass, way off the first baseline. This has popped up. IKF into foul territory to make the catch for the second out. Talk about one mistake in a Barrios. He did hang that breaking ball to Sal Perez in the first. He, he missed his spot. Uh, by a lot when he's made his pitches he's done great here today ground ball to short Bichette has it and they just do get wit to end the inning the one out triple is left aboard and here comes the tarp or are they telling the grounds crew to slow down yep second base umpire Brian Knight is running over there and saying hang on hang on hang on and now Matt Quattrero is going to come out and he wants to hear what everyone is talking about. Now, John Schneider wants this game to go as long as possible because they're down 2 1. You have members of the Royals bullpen that started to walk in when they saw the tarp coming on the field, and now they have to go back. Well, the infield is. It's, it's an official game because we played, we didn't even have to play the bottom of the fifth inning with the Royals in front to make it an official game. And, you know, if you're Brian Schneider right now, this is the. Last game of the series, and he wants to do everything he can to get his team a win. And he's probably thinking, you know, there's a chance that you could get a pitcher out there who's really going to struggle with his control, walk a couple guys, and maybe you can score a couple of runs in the top of the sixth inning because not only is it hard to hit right now and hard to feel, but it's become very difficult to pitch. Yeah. I mean, there is standing water all over the infield. And so. They are just emptying the warehouse right now of all the diamond dry bags to absorb as much of the moisture as they can. And here comes the tarp. They could have rolled it out 15 minutes ago. Saved a lot of diamond dry. <laughs> right. So the forecast is not great for this rain to stop and resume the game. But if it does, the tarp is covering up puddles like that. Five inning game, a rain shortened game, but an official game. Two to one, the Royals win the ball game.